Hi and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Linda and today I have a very exciting announcement for you. We are gonna do the 31 days of Halloween here at our YouTube channel. So we're gonna make 31 videos all with special effects makeup and I will upload a new video every day. So today is the first day October 1st 2017 and uh, I thought what to do for the first tutorial well after thinking a bit the first thing that came to mind when thinking about Halloween was pumpkins uh, and that is why today for the first day of the 31 days of Halloween I have created this pumpkin makeup for you well uh, if you want to know how to create this makeup please keep watching because I will explain it step by step in the coming video and if you don't want to miss any of the videos we upload during this 31 days of Halloween, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It is finally the 1st of October, so welcome to Halloween season. Uh, this month I will do the 31 days of Halloween, like I said in my intro. And what better to start with than a pumpkin? Because one of the first things when I think about Halloween is all those carved pumpkins. And I thought this one would be fun to kick off Halloween season with. So I'm gonna do a pumpkin makeup today and uh, I'm gonna start with drawing the mouth of the pumpkin. I have the sculpt gel and a small spatula and I'm gonna apply small portions of it on the line that I have just created. So the way the outside looks is quite okay by me. I don't really care. I need to smooth that out anyway. But the inside I want to be kind of clean Yes, and now just a little bit for the part under my nose. And there the mouth is on the way I wanted it to. I'm going to let this dry or let this set and then we're going to continue this makeup. But before I can actually draw in my eyes, I need to cover my eyebrows. I'm just going to take the makeup off of them for a minute and I'm going to cover them with Prozade you can get Prozade out of your eyebrow fairly easily as long as you use a proper remover for this And I will just add two or three layers of Prose to my eyebrows. And once they are properly covered, you will have to powder this with color set powder. I'm using the one by Meron. And why is that? Because the glue is of course sticky and by powdering it you will get rid of that stickiness. And as I'm going to powder anyway, I'm also going to powder the sculpt gel. I don't want very kind eyes, so I'm going to try to make them a bit skull-like.
To color this creation I'm going to use my airbrush with Pro Air Hybrid colors. If you don't have an airbrush and you do want to make this makeup, don't worry. You could do this with just normal water activated face paint as well. And there is the basic orange. Of course there is a color difference between my hair and my face. But that's because my hair is darker than my face. Well, if you want to wear this out to a Halloween party, uh, make sure to do all your hair. As this is just for YouTube, I'm only going to do the front. Uh, and that is also to make it a bit easier on myself to remove this in a bit. Now I'm going to mix the orange with a bit of coral tan. This is just a bit darker orangey skin tone brownish color to start making the stripes for my pumpkin. Now I'm kind of satisfied with the stripes I put on my face. I'm going to clean my gun and put yellow and orange in there just to make a bit of highlights in between those stripes. Now it is time for the black in this makeup. I'm going to use Chameleon Strong Black a water spray bottle and just some Meron and Chameleon brushes. And then the card of my camera was full, so sorry I just finished the mouth and put in the scleras while getting a new card for my camera. I am going to continue with the nose and the eyes and I'm also just going to do these with water based face paint in black by Chameleon. And the last and final step in this makeup is the top of the pumpkin I made. I haven't colored this yet, so I'm gonna just airbrush it brown so it will fit my makeup better. Um, and I'm gonna do this with the Pro Air Hybrid as well. There it is again. It's just colored with one color. And um, I wanna have it on my head like this. I have to zoom out for you to see it, but um, it is missing a bit of green, so I'm gonna look for some green stuff to add to the stem of the paint. Yes, and there I put some uh, fake grass in there. Uh, it would have been preferably something a little bit lighter, so something more like the background, but I didn't have anything else than this fake grass so we will have to do well I want to thank you very much for watching this first day of the 31 days of Halloween video tutorial there will be 30 more this month so come back to watch another tutorial if you are interested in Halloween or special effects makeup for now I wish you a pleasant day and of course I hope to see you tomorrow bye bye